So the time has come to make the definitive video about the Zebra F701 ballpoint pen. This seems to be one of the most popular everyday carry pens and uh, one of the most popular pens on this channel. So I wanted to do a better video on it. Uh, the main confusion about the pen is that it's sold in a number of different variants. Uh, they're all called the F701, as you can see here. Uh, but that's not as clear as you might think. Uh, so I wanted to run through essentially four F701s and uh, relay kind of what I've learned about the pen. Uh, so first of all, we have this right here. This is the first one I got. This is the uh, Zebra F701. This is maybe five years old. And this one has been modded using a popular mod where this black plastic cap is removed and replaced with the cap from the uh, F402 pen. Uh, the pen's are very similar. The F402 uh, is mainly noted for, instead of being all metal, it has a knurling, instead of with the knurling here, it has a, a rubberized grip. Uh, ironically, the uh, F402 has a metal collar here where the stock F701 doesn't. So if you <laughs> buy the two and then marry some parts from the F402 with the F701, you get this pen, which is the uh, modded F701. And this is uh, still my favorite. I'll do a quick, quick click for test comparison. Great pen, used it many, many times over the years. Now we have this. This is the F701 that I bought just a, uh, maybe about two months ago, fully stock. You can see it has the black plastic collar. I bought it from Amazon, uh, cost, uh, I don't know, $5 or $6, whatever they sell for now. Uh, again, so see the knurling metal, but the plastic piece up here. The button is slightly different than the button on the modded F701. You see it is not as rounded. Still a great pen. It just has this little blast, uh, black plastic ring here. If we open it up, we see it uses this uh, plastic refill. Gets the job done. Not my favorite. On the modded one, I've swapped that out and used a Fisher Space Pen refill. I think that's a, a really good move. Costs uh, maybe about $5, and it's a very reliable refill. Writes on pretty much anything. Uh, so definitely a nice option. Just a couple of clicks. Much more muted. Here we have the FXMD. So what this is, is an all metal version of the F701. Uh, it sells for a pretty a high amount. I think on Amazon, they're like $18. If you buy it overseas, you know, you import it from Europe or something like that, you can get it for uh, maybe uh, maybe eight or $9. I bought mine off Amazon, uh, sorry, off eBay. I believe it shipped from the UK or something like that. It cost maybe uh, 10 or $12 total. And again, that's the F-XMD has uh, all metal parts. You can see it has that more curved button. And here is it compared to the modded F701. Extremely similar. So you couldn't really tell the two apart except for the clip which says FXMD on one. F701. I will say though, if you go ahead and open up the FXMD, which is not easy to do, you 
had this issue with this pen in the past. we see that same refill from before. That's a the kind of G2 size, but, uh, or similar to the G2 size. That looks like a G2 uh, with the plastic. Here's a click. Pretty similar to what we've seen before. Now, here is the uh, one that is really gonna mess everyone up and it's I left it in the packaging unopened was I just bought it directly from Zebra because they had a big sale recently uh, you can see F701 7 series ballpoint pen black ink F701 durable stainless steel uh, very standard packaging and I don't think this would be any different than the packaging if you were to go down to Staples or off Amazon but you can see here that it uses an all metal design. So now sold directly from zebrapen.com uh, is the, what Zebra calls the Steel, Steel 7 Series F701 ballpoint retractable pen. But in the title on the website, it says F701 all metal in caps ballpoint retractable pen. And the picture clearly so, shows an F701 with the metal collar. So now it's open. You see that little Indonesia label, which we haven't seen in the past. Full metal collar, the rounded button. Then past that, it is identical to the FXMD. And the FXMD is the one with the tip out. So again, F701, I don't know if this is called the uh, steel series or the all metal series or what, Zebra isn't super precise in their nomenclature, but we see it's what we want. Metal collar, F701, same classic design. That feels a little bit different. I don't know if they changed the metal or what, it feels slightly, slightly different. Not quite as smooth as the previous pens. Here's the click. Definitely a little different, less muted compared to the old ones, listen. If we, were to, if we go ahead and open it up, So now we've moved to a thin refill. And I was trying to figure out what it says. It says C18 China. And here's the FXMD just to be. Clear on what's going on there. So it does not appear that the two would be interchangeable, which means uh, something had, has to have changed in the, the collar there. We'll see if it works. Nope, works fine. So I'm not quite sure why it has a different refill, but it does. Put it back in. Put the original end piece in place. Closes nicely. And it writes. No problem. So, I guess it'll come down to your preference there, uh, but both write as well. I don't really see any difference between the two. Uh, if one's metal, one's plastic, one's long and skinny, those tall and fat, but doesn't really, uh, sorry, short and fat, doesn't really make any difference there. Uh, so I guess this is going on longer than I wanted 
just to say that the F701, I don't even know what I'm doing with them at this point. It's a great pen. It is pretty confusing. If you want to buy one right now, the easiest thing to do is just buy one off Amazon and don't think about it again because the, uh, the metal collar doesn't really make any difference. If you want to geek out about it, you can get the 701, mod it with the parts from the F402. Again, this is just the stock one. Works, does the job nicely. Here is the FXMD. And it doesn't seem like the FXMD really needs to exist anymore because under some, some circumstances, they sell an all metal F701. Uh, again, I bought it from zebrapen.com. Zebra uh, I don't know if, if they are on the bleeding edge and now this pen is gonna be popular and sold across the board or if they just have some sort of reserve stock that they sell on their own, uh, who knows. But there you have it, the definitive guide to the F701. Sorry if this rambled on forever. Thanks for watching.